Later, I watched what the nanny cam had recorded and saw Brenda hitting not one, but three different children throughout the day. This was exactly what I needed. Furious, I posted the videos to every social media site I could, and I made arrangements to take my sons to a different daycare from then on. In the morning, my posts had gone viral overnight, and the public was demanding that Brenda be placed in jail and that the daycare should be shut down. Have you ever met someone so cruel that you wondered how they could possibly be real? Like someone that vile could exist outside of a movie or book? Well, I had the misfortune of meeting just such a person, and in one of the most unlikely of places as well. It all started months ago at the daycare that I use for my children. My name is Jennifer and I have two sons, Stewie who is four and Kyle who is six. I had been using the same daycare since Kyle was three as it was convenient for my needs. It was close to my office where I worked and a friend of mine worked there as well. My friend's name is Bethany and she is an absolute sweetheart. Putting my children there wasn't really something that I had to think about until Brenda started working at the daycare. The first day that I met her, I knew that she was trouble, but I had no idea just how much until later. Hi Bethany, how are you doing today? Hey Jennifer, honestly, it's been a bit of a rough day. We had someone new start, and I personally think that she might be a bad fit for the daycare. Why? Did something happen? Not yet, but there's just something about her that rubs me the wrong way. Shh, here she comes. Oh, hey there. Sorry to interrupt, but parents need to drop off their children and leave promptly. It's harder on the kids to say goodbye if parents hang around too long. Oh, sorry about that. Is that a new rule? I was just catching up with Bethany. Well, don't. We're here to work, not be your friend. Now say goodbye and please leave. I very much didn't enjoy being talked to like that, and the look on Bethany's face told me that it bothered her as well. But I was in a hurry, and so I just filed it away, said goodbye to my boys, and went to work. Later that day, after I left work and picked up my boys, and went home though. Something very unusual happened. Hey guys, what do you want for dinner? Pizza. That's stupid. Stewie, don't be an ash. We should have pasta. Excuse me? Kyle, where did you learn to talk like that? Kyle looked incredibly shocked and suddenly quite upset. I could tell that he didn't understand what he had done wrong and was confused. Sorry, Mama. I heard the new lady at daycare saying it. She was calling a lot of the kids that. I don't know what it means. She did? Kyle nodded his head and looked like he was about to cry, and so I brought him and his brother in for a hug to comfort them. It's okay, but that is an adult-only word. You didn't know, but now that you do. Please don't use it anymore. Both boys nodded their heads that they understood, which helped make me feel a bit more comfortable about things, but that did little to stop me from being angry with Brenda. The boys had never used such language before, and I knew that they hadn't learned it from anywhere else. Bethany had told me that there was something weird about Brenda, and I was inclined to agree. I told myself that the following day, I would have a word with Brenda and clear the air. The next day when I dropped off the boys, I decided to have a word with Brenda. Hey Brenda, can I have a word with you? Ugh, can you make it quick? As I told you yesterday, parents shouldn't linger too long. I understand that, but this will only take a minute. My son came home yesterday and used a foul language, and when I asked where he had heard it, he said that he had heard it from you. Yeah, well, children lie all the time. That's no surprise, really. Well, there is nowhere else that he could have learned it. I understand that sometimes that we say things when we are angry, but I just wanted you to be a bit more careful with what language you use. Otherwise, the children will pick up on it. That's all. Well, I didn't use any bad language, so whatever your filthy child told you was a lie. Now just leave already, you cow, and let us do our jobs. I couldn't believe how rude she was, and before I could say anything else, she turned and stormed off. Seeing this, Bethany came over and then led me outside so I could cool off. I can't believe how rude that woman is. What gives her the right to speak to me like that? Sadly, it's because she is very good friends with the owner. She thinks that her connection to the owner makes her invincible. I have no doubt that she said some nasty things to your kids, but short of having some kind of proof, the owner won't believe you, sadly. Maybe you're right. Later that day at work, 
I wrote an email address to the owner of the daycare detailing my interaction with Brenda and what she had said that my son repeated. Unsurprisingly, I didn't hear back from them. I figured I would give it a few days before I went down and demanded to speak to them in person. Meanwhile though, things got so much worse. I picked up my boys after work and took them home. And while I got dinner ready, the two of them played in the living room that was adjacent to the kitchen. That way I could keep an eye on them while I prepared something to eat. They ran around a lot and laughed and were in great spirits. After dinner, I took them upstairs to give them a bath before bed. And as I helped them get undressed, I saw bruises on Kyle's back and arms. I knew that he hadn't had them in the morning when I helped him get dressed for the day and he hadn't bumped into anything while they played that evening, so I asked him as calmly as possible how he got the bruises. Uh, oh. What happened there? Did you hurt yourself while playing today in daycare? Um, no. No, Mama. I could tell that he was scared and he was avoiding eye contact. Oh, then what happened? I'm not supposed to say. What do you mean? Who told you that and why can't you say anything? Well, I was told if I told someone, then I would be in trouble, and that Stewie might get hurt too. Alarm bells were roaring in my head. I knew instantly that I needed to handle this situation carefully. Kyle, I love you and Stewie very, very much, and nothing will ever change that. I want you to know that you can tell me what happened and I won't be upset with you. Okay, it was the new lady at daycare. I was playing tag with some of the girls, and I tagged Susie a bit too hard, and she fell down and started crying. I tried to apologize, but the new lady ran over and she hit me a few times. My rage was nearly overwhelming, but I kept my cool and told Kyle that he had done nothing wrong and that I was going to make sure that what happened never happened again. After the boys went to bed, I went and got a special nanny cam that was disguised as a teddy bear. And in the morning, I told Kyle that if the new lady hit him or any other children, that he was to make the teddy bear watch it. If he did, then the new lady would never be able to do it again. I was sick with worry when I dropped off my boys the next day. It was one of the hardest things I ever had to do, but I knew that it was my word against Brenda's and I needed evidence. And so I went off to work and did my best to try to focus on my job while I counted down the minutes until it was time to pick up my sons. When I did, I asked Kyle if he had shown the teddy bear something bad, and he said that he had, but that the new lady hadn't touched him today. Later, I watched what the nanny cam had recorded and saw Brenda hitting not one, but three different children throughout the day. This was exactly what I needed. Furious, I posted the videos to every social media site I could, and I made arrangements to take my sons to a different daycare from then on. In the morning, my posts had gone viral overnight, and the public was demanding that Brenda be placed in jail and that the daycare should be shut down. Sure enough, that same day, Brenda was arrested for abuse and all of the parents that brought their children to that daycare refused to leave their children there. The owner was forced to sell the business, but that didn't stop the police from placing charges against her as well, since she was the one responsible for the children, since she was the owner. She faced charges of neglect and abuse as well although she only ended up going to prison for a year. Brenda, on the other hand, was looking at a much worse case. Several parents came forward and accused her of hurting their children. The judge in her case had released Brenda out on bail, which was a terrible idea, as she knew that it had been my social media sites that had gotten her caught. In an attempt to get revenge, she tried to break into my home, but she hadn't counted on my security system, and as she was trying to break in, I was waiting inside my house with a baseball bat. The second she broke inside, I attacked her and broke both of her arms and several ribs. Once I knew that she was no longer a threat, I called the police and had them drag her to the hospital where she was patched up and then hauled off back to jail. In light of her attempt to get revenge against me, the judge revoked her bail and added assault and attempted homicide to the list of her crimes. She ended up being sentenced to 25 years in prison. If you ask me, she should have gotten even more time in prison, but knowing that I hurt her like she had hurt my son. I felt that I had gotten what I had wanted from her. After that, the daycare was closed down, but a month later, it reopened as Bethany had been given a loan from the bank and because it's new owner. I had always trusted her, and so I put my kids back into daycare while I was at work. After that, 
There were no more incidences of my boys or any other children being harmed at the daycare. And within a couple months, Bethany told me that she was making a strong profit from the business, in spite of reducing the fees she had to charge for the care she provided. Even the other staff members were much happier now that she was the owner. So I guess things ended up working out to some degree. I just hope that Brenda and I never meet again. I don't think I will be able to stop myself from hurting her even worse the next time that I see her after what she did to my son and the other children. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below saying I subscribed and we will try our best to reply to your comment.